Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. This is Rohit. So today I'm going to show you Summer 23 features for Salesforce Administrator. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never miss any kind of updates from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. Under the App Manager, you already seen lots of application like standard application and custom application. And once you create your application, let's say custom application. Now you can clone your existing application and create a new one with existing application, right? So how to do that? Let me show you here. So this is this is the some prerequisite. So you have to pre uh, sign up this uh, pre-release org. If you take some you know new features regarding this summer 23, so always sign up this org as a free trial and you can go ahead and you can learn some new features regarding this summer 23 release, right? You can fill up this form, click on start free trial. You will be get an email in your personal email ID. Here, you can see this email ID, right? And you, uh, after that, you have to verify your account and you can use this org. So I already signed up this org and uh, here you can see my org. And before that, let me show you one thing here. So once the page load, right? So you can see new logo. So this logo that is called lifeguard root so this is the first feature every release have a, its own logo right so this is the new logo regarding this release so this is the lifeguard root okay so always recognize with the help of logo you can easily understand this is new org and this is the uh, you know summer winter or spring based on your logo right so once you open it now just you have to click on this you know setup or and then under quick find you have to search like app manager right so let's say app manager and click on this app manager under this app manager we have lots of application some some of the you know like standard application but i already created some application here that is called summer 23 this is a custom application and i want to clone it with the existing application this one right so in this drop down just click on this drop down you can see new option that is called clone so you can clone your existing application and you can uh, you know like uh, make it this uh, user friendly application based on your requirement so this is the first feature you can clone it the existing application in this uh, summer 23 release all this feature is like salutation so salutation previously it was not there in uh, lightning but uh, in this release you will be see this salutation inside our uh, lightning right so how to show that let me show you here so just click on this app launcher open any object as you have let's say i have contact so let me open the contact here under this contact if you want to open existing contact you can open it so let's say like tom yard under this tom yard just click on this gear uh, gear icon and you can see new option here that is called added object this is already there but this is a short way to open the you know object definition so just click on this fields and relationship and under the fields and relationship a name is already defined in this object just you have to search like name once you search the name immediately you can see the salutation here this is the new one previously it was in classic but now in this release, you can check this. Uh, this is in the lightning, right? So salutation here, you can see. You can change it based on your requirement. Let's say I want to change some salutation. So in this drop down, just click this one and click edit button. And once you open this edit form, you will be see like lots of pick list value. So under this salutation, we have like Mr. Mrs. Right, Dr. Professional and MX. Right. So based on your requirement, you can change it or you can add on or you can deactivate, activate based on your requirement. You can do that. Right. So this is a new one. Previously, it was in classic, but nowadays you can see this salutation inside your lightning uh, UI. So this is a second feature under platform features. Right. So let me move into the new feature is pronouns. So under the pronouns, we have one pick list inside our contact uh, object under this contact we can check this pronouns field so just click on this fields and relationship and just you have to search here like pronouns 
just click on this one like pronouns under this pronouns we have like see him see uh, he him see her like that right so you can use it this kind of value in your standard field as well as custom field right so just let me move back here and again i need to search like pronouns and here you can replace it in existing you know like values and fields so this is the very most you know handy features inside this release that is called pronouns under the pronouns you can add on you can remove it activate deactivate based on your comment move into the new feature and new feature regarding the lightning app builder page so as of now you know you know this kind of feature under the light lightning app builder page in visual editor right so i will show you the tab and accordion so this tab and accordion based on your you know like uh, some custom component or you know like a standard component you can drag and drop from left to right so how to do that let me show you here so just go to the any any page of your you know record page and app page based on your comment so let's say i want to go into the account let me open this account here and let me click on this here i can click on this edit page and it will be open the visual editor app builder page under this app builder page in the left side you can see like standard as well as custom this is the standard custom and the, this is a managed package right so under the standard you have to search here let me close this unwanted pop-ups from here and like accordions so this is the new feature right you can drag and drop anywhere as you want like accordion here right so once you drag and drop in that particular places and also you can use like tab as well so this is a very handy feature here so you can use like tabs here and under this tab you can change it the order as well let's say detail first and related after the details so you can drag and drop you can add on right like add tab if you need like details you can add it here like i want to change this detail to my you know like activities so you can add it here and you can see the new tab here so this is the new feature as a tab and also let me use like accordion accordion also be good feature here so let me add this related under this related if you need to change it you can change it and you can change the order as well so this is new feature in this release like accordion and tab based on here you can select details related right so based on your requirement you can drag and drop that particular component or any standard or custom component lwc component or any kind of component you have you can replace it and based on this accordion you can show the details so this is another feature here this is the last feature inside this you know uh, uh, platform feature and this is re related to the mass update context so how to do that you, uh, i will show you here so previously it was not available inside your you know like related list you can update more than one contact at a time right and we can update more than like uh, 100 contacts at a time but this is the limitation like only uh, up to 100 contacts we can update it in that dynamic related list so how to do that let me show you here so i already uh, uh, enabled this dynamic related list so if you need so you have to search like dynamic and under this standard you can see this option dynamic related list right so you can just drag and drop in that particular component i already drag and drop inside my this page record page that's why you can see like contact six and something like that right so let me move back here leave it and just here you can see like contact right and uh, in your case you cannot see in this button that is called update contact before that you have to uh, do some prerequisite regarding this mass update so what is the prerequisite here so you have to go to the, this you know like added object and once you go this object definition just click on this button and links actions and create a new action so once you create a new action here so you will be see code page and just you can drag and drop this button so how to do that let me show you here just click again add it page click on that particular component dynamic related list under this dynamic related list we have like 
parent record related list so i already selected like contact as a you know like a related list and related level you can select contacts and it's a list and if you need like some action you can add the action here because i already added like update contact say here like update is still in beta you click action is still in beta but you can use it like update contact click on this done and once you've done it just you have to save it and go back here so let me go back here and let's see the mass update for this you know like two records so please observe first record is right here and second is tom i want to update both contacts with my same data so how to update it just click on this update contact so first of all you have to select if you want to select like one or more than one so just you can use this check boxes and just update contact it's open me that form here right i want to update the last name uh, let's say any kind of name let's say saying or uh, first name is you know uh, any kind like david okay and click on the save button so you will be see some pop-up here why because because it's a mass update and is asking like uh, you want to update all the data with the same name or same like first name and last name yes so just click on the save button now you can see like update two records and changes the field first name last name okay so these two different contacts will be updated with this new names like first and last name so just click on this okay and now immediately you can see like david singh and david singh if you have like more than two contacts right now i have only two contacts and that time it will be work for you right so this is a new feature you can update it thank you guys for watching this video see you again see ya bye bye take care